Hey everyone, it's Jake here, uh, Jake's Aviation, back with another model unboxing and review video. This time of the NG Models KLM 777-300ER, Royal Dutch Airlines. Um, super excited for this model. Uh, it's the first one in the new livery. I have one um, from, uh, I think it's a, like older Gemini Jets one, old livery, but super excited to have this one from NG in the new, excuse me, updated livery. Uh, so let's jump right into it. Here's the box. Uh, Royal Dutch Airlines, KLM, um, registration, uh, Papa Hotel dash Bravo Victor Victor, PHBVV. Um, they also did the uh, KLM Asia one, but I just picked up the plane one. Uh, name of this aircraft, National Park, Cocos Island, um, Cocos Island National Park in the Pacific. It's a Costa Rica, part of Costa Rica. Um, Quite a ways from Costa Rica down in the Pacific there, uh, but it is like a national park um, for them, a whole island thing. Um, but yeah, all right. There's a classic NG box, some nice box art, whatnot at the back. And uh, yeah, so let's go ahead and open it up. Super excited to have another KLM model in the fleet. And obviously, this is one of their, their new, uh, got the little card, nice, collector's card. Put that off to the side. Um, this is where their new 777 uh, 300ER mold that has been refined. Um, but uh, yeah, super excited. Here's the mall looking really good. Put this to the side here. All right. Let's pull it out. I was scared. This part always scares me a little bit. Ooh. All right, looks good to me. Alrighty, wow. Looking fantastic, guys. Oh, wrong way, just take this out of the way here. All right, here we have it. Beautiful KLM 777-300ER. Very, very nice. Um, looks fantastic, the color looks spot on. Um, to my, from what I can tell, and uh, yeah, details are right up there. So let's go ahead, let me just adjust the camera and we'll zoom in and check out some of the detail. All right, taking a look here at the nose. Cockpit windows looking pretty good there. You got the Sky Team logo right next to the cockpit windows there. You got uh, Air France KLM um, down at the nose gear. I can't tell what those numbers say, but you have E-tops. L1 door, some good details around there. You got the KLM, little crown logo, Royal Dutch Airlines, National Park, uh, Cocos Island, uh, for the like the Dutch spelling of it, but it's Cocos, I Cocos Island, uh, National Park. Some really, really good details all around the fuselage here, as you can see, like really, really nice, uh, looking great. Uh, L2 door there, uh, moving along. Got the beautiful G90s, looking really nice with that little KLM logo right on it. We'll take a look at it. So these are solid, um, but the fan blades look fantastic. There's good detail um, taken with making that. So it looks really, really nice. These don't spin. Let's say it's not hollow. So it looks really good. Got that overwing exit door there um, with the nice overwing exit markings right there. So very, very nice. I'm moving along, you have the antennas at the top. Uh, one right up here, got the Wi-Fi dome, another little dome, and then some uh, uh, antennas at the back here looking really nice. Got this other exit right there, and then you have the Ashmos exit, you got the registration, the Dutch flag, um, the flag of the Netherlands, European Union flag, and then uh, 777 uh, right there, and the Flying Dutchman uh, at the bottom. Looking really, really nice. Uh, no complaints with that. And then you got KLM on the tail with the little crown logo looking really, really nice. And a good tail cone area, good detail there with the, the APU, the exhaust area um, on this mold. So really, really nice. Spinning it around this side, you got good detail here on the tail too. As you can see some spots and whatnot looking really, really good. Um, and this side you got the bulk bin and then the uh, car compartment there. Registration in the flags again. Just moving along. The engine's looking really, really nice. And then you have the Ford cargo door on this side and everything like so. 
Looking at it, nose on, looking really, really nice. I think it looks pretty good, pretty accurate uh, for the focus. I'm not sure why it's not focusing. There we go. Looks really, really good. Gears look pretty good too. Um, you can see it looks a little, it's a little crooked. Not too bad. And uh, yeah, so there we have it. Let's take a look in the underneath. There's a top, bottom, pretty pretty basic. Got the registration there. Uh, PH Bravo, Victor Victor. Um, but yeah, very very nice model, guys. I highly recommend it. Um, if you can't get this, pick up the KLM Asia one too. I'm sure it's just, it's probably just as good. It's the only difference is with the Asia on the underneath the KLM uh, titles. But uh, yeah, very very nice model, looking really really good. Um, wings looking fantastic, uh, not flexed or anything, looking perfect, uh, sharp as ever. The engines looking fantastic. Uh, gear. So that's one thing with the gear, uh, they don't tilt. Uh, but they roll, um, and you can see there's there's they've taken like good uh, they paid good attention to the detail with like the struts and stuff for the gear. Ooh, that's a little loose. Uh, it's not. I don't know what's up with that. That's weird. Um, it's not broken. It's not like it's falling out loose. It's just loose, huh? Either way, looking really really nice. Uh, good detail there on the gear. Um, and that's something that NG said they were going to focus on instead of making it uh, making them tiltable. Um, they wanted to focus on getting those struts and whatnot, um, built in and looking really nice. Anyway, that's going to do it for this video guys. So I hope you all enjoyed and stay tuned for more. I'm all unboxing videos, plane swine videos and whatnot. And I'll see you on the next video. Take care for now guys. See you later.